relying on an automated distribution in your podcast is not really a good idea because you cannot really go further on the analytics. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can submit your podcast feed to Spotify. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how. Without further ado, one, two, three. Okay, so to claim your Spotify channel, you need to go into this podcaster, that's Spotify.com, and log in using your Spotify account. And it's a mandatory that you need to have a Spotify.com account in order to log into your podcaster, that's Spotify.com. Um, that come. And by the way, Spotify is more into listeners new, while podcaster that Spotify that com is more into claiming your RSS feed and letting Spotify know that you own that podcast. So I'm going to log in using my Spotify account. If you don't have a Spotify account, you can always click this sign up for Spotify. Um, yeah, so that's how it works. Click the login. And then you will normally see this stuff in here. Um, and what you will do is click this three dots in here and click the claim and your, what's this? Add or claim your podcast, okay? This is basically just letting you know, letting Spotify know that, hey, I have a podcast. And it will provide you more insights of how's, um, what's happening on your podcast, how's the analytics so far, versus on relying into an automatic distribution okay so you just need to click the get started and you need to put your rss feed so if you use anchor you need to log into your anchor um, account and go into this area here called podcast availability and go into the rss distribution on the other side, if you use Libsyn or other podcasting provider, then this option, this RSS feed can be found anywhere. As long as you have a, a podcast, this should be available in all podcasting provider. So simply just look for the tutorial for that if you're not using Anchor as your hosting provider. So I'm going to copy that RSS feed there. Actually, I already claimed this RSS feed, but we'll let you know how this works. So you click this, you fill in your RSS feed there, and the Spotify will normally um look at this one your podcast might already be on spotify so if it's already existing and someone claim it you can actually try to to re, re or you can also you can actually try to change the ownership as long as you have the associated email address with the rss feed so i'm going to click next in here and you can go into the next area and then this is what i'm trying to say you need to verify the ownership of that rss feed and it will normally send an email notification to you and if you use anchor fm by the way sometimes by default they will provide you a random email address if that happens you need to contact the Anchor FM or your hosting provider to change the email address to your professional email address. Okay, so right now we already change it to our to the right one. So you just need to click the send code and verify the code to claim your RSS feed. And we actually have this already in here. If you go into the catalog section, we already I already claimed our, my RSS feed, by the way. And here, 30 days, it has more insights versus on relying your um, automatic distribution, by the way. So here we have so low um, listeners and I'm on the process of building a podcast strategy to increase our listeners part to, to increase our listeners. And yeah, if you just, I mean, if you're just relying on an automatic distribution, you cannot see the stats in here, like how's the followers, how many followers they gain, how the gender, the age, you can also see the art, artists that they are listening and they can country at the same time. Let's see what are the other stats we can get. 
in the details part, oh, this is good to know that we can have a trailer in here. I'm going to come up with a trailer for that. Actually, we already have a trailer. But yeah, I will upload that trailer later. And yeah, it says here that our provider is Anchor. And yeah, it's really a must that you need to claim your RSS feed in Spotify in order to get better insights versus on just relying on uh, automatic distribution.